one problem that I think I have in common with a lot of creative people is that we often get sidetracked. When we are doing our projects we run into all these side projects that kind of keeps us occupied and take the attention away from the main projects we are doing. And this is a short description of such a project. I recently told you that I bought a new camera and that means that the previous means of filming above my desk is not longer a viewable solution. So I came up with this idea to make a new overhead camera mount and this video is not a um, do-it-yourself kind of construction video per se. It's more of an um, ID kind of video where I tell you the steps involved in, in making this. Previously I filmed everything above my workbench on a um, stream cam, a Logitech stream cam. And that I just mounted on the table lamp above my desk. And this is a slightly rebuilt Luxo lamp that I use in my day-to-day -day work. And as my new camera is slightly heavier and I need a different angle and height above the desk, this was not longer a viewable solution. So this is what I came up with. This is a height adjustable, length adjustable and turnable uh, camera mount that I can use to get good overhead shots from all kind of angles on my desk. And as many projects with creative people, we started up with just a bucket of different parts that kind of the trigger to make us creative and find ideas for what we should do. So, as I have done numerous times in my life, I started out with this bucket, which is filled with old plumber parts and whatnot, and some length of, of copper tube. I also found this desk mount for an old lamp that I thought could be a good way to fix this to my overhead shelf, actually. And first I made this with a fixed length boom arm and that was not a good idea because as the arm swings it uh, adjusts the length from the shelf so it will make the angles difficult. So I changed my mind and made this an adjustable boom instead. And I did this by adding a length of pipe and this is actually the same length of pipe I just split it lengthwise and soldered it on. And it's not the sturdiest way of doing things because copper tends to bend and twist a bit when it's quite thin but the distance is, is really short so I think this has the necessary strength. And this is really the conglomerate of parts. It's actually made of four different parts. The main part that's uh, where the pipe is sliding through that's actually from fitting a garden hose it's, it's meant to do and the part which soldered this to the boom arm is actually a, a pipe part that is meant to do something like that. But I filed it down and soldered it to the garden hose pipe part and I added a nut and a bolt to make this a lockable solution. And the camera mount on the bottom is just a no-name piece that I bought from AliExpress. I think I bought it for this purpose and it's actually work kind of okay. And this is actually more solid than it looks because the tightening on this camera mount from AliExpress is, is quite okay. It locks the camera in a good position. Here you can see the, the construction as a whole and it's actually working quite good. And I've done some test runs and filmed some small pieces with this camera. So that will be it for this short introduction. I will show you some clips where you can see this in actual use. The functionality of this camera mount is as follows. I have, I have this for regulating the height. And 
this is done by this screw here that I use to uh, fasten this pipe that I can thread into here and this is the camera mount itself and this is done by these two hinges where I can adjust in every angle and of course around this axis goes in this one and this is the mount for the shelf and this swings around like this and this is adjustable this is for adjusting outwards and this is the locking mechanism for locking this in place and this is quite sturdy you can't have much movement in this so the weak point in this is actually this mechanism that doesn't have a very broad base where it fixed to the shelf but this is interchangeable and this is just something from an old lamp I think and I just made this to fit in here so I do now think that I'm finished with this functionality wise so thanks for uh, watching this was just a small side step and a side track from my main purpose as is testing the cards I got from my brother and completing the 386 SX test rig so please subscribe if you want to be notified when I post another uh, video and thanks again for watching see you in the next one